Hi everybody, this is uh, Mr. Roche and um, we're working with Java and um, we're working on the gas mileage calculator here and uh, we were doing actually something very cool in that we were trying to set up a um, subroutine or a method as they call them in Java, okay? And um, things look pretty good um, except that um, I've been running this a little bit with the scanner down here and I don't love that. That's the one thing that seems to be the problem here. So I'm gonna, um, we wanna we want to clean things up. That's our sort of goal here. Um, but one of the things we're gonna do is we're gonna remove the scanner down here. And I'm gonna do this to it, okay? I'm gonna, like, like um, all these variables can be passed around. All these objects can actually be passed around to each other. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a new scanner up here and we'll call it, I don't know, let's call it like S. Okay, or we call it um, cool scanner, so it's going to be C scanner. Okay, and, um, and what, what happens is you can actually pass a link to it. That's how it's being passed. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to create this scanner up in main, okay, which we'll do in a second, and then we'll use the scanner that comes to the routine and then pass to it um, some other things like the number and things like that, okay. But all of this other stuff seems okay, actually. Um, this is the stuff coming in. Okay, so what's going to happen is the scanner is going to come to us, and then we'll use it to read the next line. Um, we look at the number, and then we got this sort of fluffy bunny exception. Okay, which um, which we can we could change to like a better name, like you know E, <laughs> and then um, um, you can print out the exception stuff here. Is what what would happen here? It'd be good to show people what the heck the problem is. So you'd say something like system out print line um, e, and then all the all the um, all the features that would come with an exception. You can you can see with like a dot, right? And maybe I'd do something like um, like this and say two string. Okay, and that's a way to kind of see what what what's going on, and it'll tell you a little bit of information about it. Okay. Um, another thing we're gonna do is I tried this too. Um, scanners also should be closed, and so if you're you're trying to use like multiple scanners and stuff, you'd want to close them and open them and things like that. But this actually looks pretty good from this end. Okay, so this is us adding a class. Okay, and or adding a method and um, it goes between a sort of at the end of main and then and then where the where the number was okay so so this is all fine except that when you run it um, let's see what even happens um, uh, this is still running from the top it's not using any anything that we're doing okay um, I don't know let's say like 12 and I could say 4.5 or something like that okay and um, um I don't know what's going on up there, but but that that's sort of what's, what's happening. Okay, so um, so let's clean it up on top because it's sort of using weird stuff. Okay, from the top, we're up here. Okay, um, we're gonna remove a lot of the code, which is good. Okay, so what's gonna happen is we're gonna get a new scanner. We're gonna run it up here. Okay, I'm still running a uh, something called Make. Okay, um, and I want to do this. Okay, um, if I run the scanner up here, I can actually just go and get the make, and that's okay. Okay, but all this stuff I don't need. Okay, the stuff that did the try and the catch and things like that, right? Okay, but what I do need is I need to load like this. Okay, and I, I'm going to need this equation. So I'm going to pull it out. Okay, I'll like copy it. And I'm going to put it up here. Okay, so we're doing sort of careful surgery on this. Okay, something like that. So this is like, and I'll, I, even when I'm doing this, I can go like something like this. And this is like kind of old stuff. Okay, so we'll work on. I'll work on what to do with this, um, and uh, and just sort of keep going. So I need I need the tank for my example. Um, we're gonna need the um the how far on tank there's a lot of like redundancy because i think we just sort of copied all this junk okay so i need i need kind of like the basic stuff that we were doing okay so how far on tank right and see that's an extra one so we don't care about that and then we need um the mpg right 
and the I guess the price of gas here too, like these guys. Okay, so I need this information. And I'm just kind of getting all the stuff up I need to do, okay? Um, let me see. Okay. And this is sort of the thing you're going to do at the bottom. So I'm just kind of calc, you know, um, uh, whoopee. Um, I'm just kind of trying to clean this up. What did I do here? Okay, so double fuel efficiency. Okay. Let me see. I need the tank. I need the fuel efficiency. These are these are the final calculations. So we don't care about this. This is like sort of redundant. Okay. So what do I got here? It's these guys. I need the MPG and the PPG or the fuel efficiency. Okay. So this is like kind of like the information that I need, right? And I'm gonna need like a, like a, this statement. Okay, so I get to make a model, and we'll deal with that in a second. Okay. Um, and this is actually the key too. It's like the size of the tank, right? Okay, so this is like Q extra. This is Q1. Um, this is Q2. And this is Q3. Okay. And um, I'm using comments so I can help myself be organized here, okay? Um, this is one of the final calculations that we need. Okay, and then the other one is this one. Okay, so this is all the stuff I need to kind of dug it out from the bottom of the code there. Okay, and what we're trying to do is we're trying to clean this clean this up. Okay, so what I do is I do some copying and pasting. That's what I did. I'll just I just pasted everything. Okay. Um, don't worry about this kind of stuff. Okay, well, we'll handle that, okay? Um, okay, and like, so what I have to do is, and I also have my variables up here. I have a make, I have fuel efficiency, right? We had some stuff up here for the tank. I'm gonna turn the tank back on, I need that variable. Okay, so I have a string called make up at the top of my program. I have a string called make, I have a double called tank, I have a double called fuel efficiency, um, and I have a double called um, um, price per gallon. That's what that is. Okay. And uh, below that, I just have some things to kind of get, get things organized. Okay. And then with that, I can actually just delete pretty much. We have a lot of junk here. I can delete this first while construction, and I can delete this second while construction. And I can delete this other stuff because I copied it. Um, and what it does is it makes main be a lot um, like cleaner. Okay, and that's good. We want that. We want, we want main to be clean, and we don't. We don't want. We want to be able to like see what we're doing and uh, and um, trend like make it a little bit more transparent, like what we're actually doing. Okay, so do that for a second. Okay, and get your code. I'm gonna kind of. I'm just making it all um, equal. Get your code to kind of look like this. Okay, and this is all I have in main. Okay, these are my final calculations. Okay, I'm trying to get this all formatted for you guys. Okay, so main's actually short now. That's the point. Okay, see so public static main like that. There's really nothing much in it now. So we have my variables declared. I opened up a scanner. Um, I said something about getting information, and then I, I run this stuff here. I got this error, but I'll handle that in one second. So do that, and um, and then come back. So so what we want to do is we want to use this and kind of take these two things. What we're doing is we're sending like the size of the tank, and now we're going to kind of load it. Okay. 
Um, this is giving me an error because there's already a double been declared up here. Okay, so I'm going to do that. I think we were talking about this in class. But what I want to do is I want to call up our subroutine, get double. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a call for this here like this. All right. And I'm going to say this now. Okay, now my question is, what is the side of the tank? So I'm going to copy that and put it here. Okay, and the scanner that I need to send it is just S up here. So I'm going to send it S. And what's weird is that I can call it S up here um, like that. So that's that's a legal like question thing, okay? So I'm going to go like that now. And that's what it looks like. Okay, so this is the um, this is the string, and this is the scanner, okay? And I can call it C scanner here because this is like kind of a separate area of code, and it can be sent as S. So so and these are the exact same thing, okay? So and what what happens is that this sends um, uh, in this link here where to go um, here it sends a link to S. So S is just like link through C scanner. These are like the same, okay? This and this, even though they're different. And that's actually people write them differently and stuff like that. They, they make a point to like not call this one S down here. Okay, so it can still be like C scanner. It's like as if you had a nickname, okay? Like the real name of this thing is S, but down here it's called C scanner, something like that, okay? So fuel efficiency is gonna be like the exact same thing. So what we're going to do is we're going to do like something like this and replace the code we have with this. We're going to say fuel efficiency is going to equal, and then this one is my second question. So I'm going to copy this and say what is the size of this, so what's the MPG, and then I can get rid of this. Okay. And then if I put an equal sign here, it'll... Uh, It'll work, okay, like that, okay. And then this one's going to be um, push per gallon is going to equal uh, this guy here. Double. And it's going to be what is the price of gas? I like that. Okay, like that. Okay, and then if this 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 just kind of replaces everything, okay, and everything just gets run through get double, so the code up on top looks like this, okay, okay, and that's it. Okay, so let's take a look and see if it runs. Okay, so let's see what happened and wrap up. Let's um, let's give this thing a whirl. So, here's what's going on. Oh, let me turn it off. Um, okay, so um, you can also clear the window just from that little X right up there. Um, you basically hit the run button. Boom. Okay, mine's going like make and model. Um, so Opie, oh, sorry, let me run it again. Okay, mine was make and model. I'll say like Honda. Civic or something like that. And then size of the tank might be like 12 gallon tank, like 12.5, we'll say. Okay, miles per gallon. Um, I don't know, Honda's get do pretty well, so let's say 27. And then the price of gas, I thought we said was like 270 or 277, something like that. Okay, and there you go. See how it works. Okay, so what it does is it does the calculations, but it runs all the getting of information from the from the other other program. Um, I got like about a minute. Let me try to run it again. Um, let me take Cadillac. Um, size of the tank, I'll say bleh. And see what goes there, okay? And it actually put out the number format exception, okay? So it's saying again, so if I go like 12, that's okay, right? And if I say like da da da, it keeps doing this, right? Um, even if I say like a negative number, it'll go like positive number, which is great. Um, so I'll say like 38 because it's amazing and let's say the price of gas is like 325 because it actually has been at that point and there you go with a massive tank I can go 456 miles okay so that's great okay